Hey friends, welcome to today's video. We are going to clean some piggy ears. I have all my supplies. All that's left is I gotta go get some snacks from the garden, so let's go grab them. Guys, check out my epic sunflower. You can't even tell that all of these are sunflowers, all the same species, all supposed to grow around the same height, and then there's just this one mammoth. Look at that! What's up? He's so cool. I was trying to get this one dead one off. I don't know if I'm tall enough. Oh, I almost had it. Try one more time. This is like how short people do stuff. I'd ask Josh, but he's really not that much taller than me. I can't get it. <laughs> Got it! <laughs> we throw her back so maybe her seeds will spread. Spread. I plant sunflowers every year for my sister. She passed away like two and a half years ago. Sunflowers were her favorite, so I try to do a sunflower garden for her every year. These ones turned out great this year. I'm really happy. Look at all the bees! Oh my god, look at all the bees! For ear cleaning, all you're gonna need is some olive oil. I think it's best to use a little dropper like this just so you can go up, boop, just a little bit. Q-tip. And then I like to use cotton swabs just to give it a nice little run over at the very end. Now we got our veggies. Let's go get baby. See my good girl. <laughs> I'm gonna turn you this way, sweet child. All right, so I'm gonna start with this ear. This is just my olive oil and a little dropper. I watched Saski's video on how to do this when I learned. And I'll be honest, I don't do this as much as I should. I'm not one of those people that is gonna pretend like I'm the most perfect piggy parent because I should be cleaning the ears more than I should. So I like to do, just cause it makes me nervous, I drop high up on the ears and let the oil kind of work its way down itself instead of, I'm more worried about putting too much oil in the ear itself. So I start high, right baby? You start up top and then fold the ear down and kind of massage it in. And then if you don't feel like, you can do a little bit more. See, this is why we got the veggies to make this just a little bit better. I start on the outside just to sort of get them used to you touching them with the Q-tip. And then I will work my way in more. Right, baby? Get in those creases. Yeah, see, look at that. I know, honey. I know, let me do my finger. Just like that. There we go. You can't go anywhere. Oh, you went to basil. You're like having a caprese salad. A little tomato, a little basil. Okay, now we're gonna work our way in just a little bit more. It's gonna irritate her. I say I don't like it too much. All right, let's just get in a little bit. See all that gunk? So like Saski will tell you, or what I learned from her, is this isn't actually earwax, it's just dirt. So as always, I will reference you to watch <laughs> her videos. I know, honey, you don't like it, but your ears were dirty because your mommy wasn't doing a good job at keeping up with it, I'm sorry. Do you like mint? Are you a minty girl? It looks like today you are. Let's just give her a little ear rub and just make it feel better right now. So I like to just come back with a cotton swab after and just kind of the oil that got on the outside of her ear, just kind of rub it off so she doesn't have too much oil residue coming out of the ears. I just do liquid vitamin C sometimes as a treat. She's one of the ones that actually does really enjoy it. Hi. I can't fill it up if you're gonna be on the run, darling. Okay. She's gonna chew the tip off. He's all gone. 
I am doing every one today. I won't film me doing all 12, but I'll film me doing a few of them just so that we can get the repetition good, right? You ready for a nail trim? People love that. If it's red and drippy, people can't believe that. Ew. It's all over the internet. Guinea pigs eating juicy things, and it's like they call them vampire pigs. Oh, she's vampire. Okay, honey, we gotta save some snacks for the other ones. Oh, David, are you next? He said no. Nope. David's in there. Tell him he's next. You tell him. Hands. You ready, you little munchkin? We got David. Don't we? What are you already munching on? He knows something's up. He's like, I don't trust this. This is too good to be true. <laughs> you might be right, my dude. We gonna clean those ears, right, mister? Ears are good. My theory for Bebe is why hers are, always get pretty dirty is because she really likes to nest in hay. She like covers herself in it. And he doesn't. He typically just sleeps in a plush little bed. So Bebe's very much in the hay and the dust and the dirt. And I think that's why her ears get dirtier than the rest. You ready? Work her way. Get some outside. You're a pretty clean kid. Pretty, pretty, oh, pretty clean kid. How's that feel, Wood? Again, you don't want to go in, you know. If anything, less is best. Or when you ever take your pig to the vet, you can ask them how deep you can go if you're ever worried about it. But I always say, if you're worried, less is best. Right, monkey? You're just a clean little boy. So surprising, because you have a nasty sack. Oh my God, he's so cute. His ears really aren't that dirty, but nonetheless, when we do everybody, we do everybody. Right, David? Again, we're not putting it in the video, but I'm doing full everything checks today. We're just doing skin, nails, ears. It's kind of like a full on, ex yeah, I know. You like to barber yourself, but I need to check, to make sure you're good. Now I'm gonna check his little grease gland. Sometimes if it's a little too sticky, <laughs> I put some oil back there. We'll loosen up the grease gland area. Get another little cotton swab and just kind of rub around. <laughs> what is he doing? He's staring. He's such a flirt. Like he probably genuinely likes this. He was purring just a second ago. You're clean up front, but you is not clean in the back, bruh. You can see this was like the buildup from around the hair around his grease gland. I just loosen it up with olive oil. I just kind of work it around with my fingers. Dad, will you get a picture of us? This a good boy is always a little flirty boy. You ready to go back? You go get Alexis. You know, you ready to see someone who really doesn't want me to touch them? <laughs> Point pointing case, baby, just like shoved in a box of hay. Hey, baby. She's like, more treats? Oh, Alexis, are you ready, honey? All right, let's just get right to it, Lexi. Thankfully, she <laughs> loves food. I know, honey, you don't want me to touch you. Your ears look so nice. A little in, yep, I'm gonna rub it in there. Yep, mm -hmm. you're still gonna rub it in there, whether you like it or not. But she's actually not too bad for me having slacked. See how it's like dirt. I'm a dirty girl. I know, it's so fun to eat veggies during the day. Good girl, Alexis. Anything? You're doing so good, baby. I'm so proud of you. I work well with snacks. But do you want to be the only stinky kid at the table? No. 
Everybody else in your herd got it done. We have other friends who need to do this today. I don't feel like going in the garden twice. It's hot. Nails time. You gotta put the camera down, Dad. Look, my dude. Figgy. This is Figgy. He's gonna be my last piggy for this video. Right, buddy? He's a little bit not as comfortable because he's not eating, so he's a little anxious. It's okay, buddy. Shh, 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 shh. I know, I know. All right, so just using the Q-tip lightly since he's a little, he's a little freaked out. Slowly go on the outside, get him used to me touching him here. I know, it's not your favorite, I'm sorry. Then go, I know, go a little bit on the inside see what we can get out. You know, all piggies are gonna be different. There are breeds that are known to have, or whose ears are prone to get more dirty than others, like teddies or te textiles, Peruvians probably, you know, your longer haired ones. Depending on what you use too, as like their bedding, if you have like hay bedding, you know, or a lot of hay or anything but fleece, they're gonna have more dirt in it. So therefore their ears are gonna be a little bit dirtier. I'm so sorry you don't like this. Do you want any snacks while I hold you? You do. He's much more comfortable with me holding him. Sweet boy. What, him munching in front of it? <laughs> it's so loud, there's a microphone right there. Mommy forgets, he's not used to the microphone. Tell the microphone, what would you like to say to the microphone? Yes, I totally agree. Are you gonna drop it down my shirt? He's literally gonna drop this thing down my shirt, watch. So this was my last pig for our video. So for this video, I just focus mainly on ears, but there are a lot of other things that you need to, you know, do in your daily care for your guinea pig, or at least like once a week, like, you know, every Saturday, nail trims. They probably won't need a nail trim once a week, but it's always just good to check in weekly with ears, nails, teeth. And for your males, your boars, you wanna check their sack. You do wanna check their penis itself and make sure you're cleaning all of the buildup off of it. Their grease glands. So if you aren't familiar with any of the things that I'm saying, if you just Google it, or I'm pretty sure Saski has a video on just about all of these things and how to do all of these things. So again, I will always reference you to watch some of her videos. I'm gonna go torture the rest of my pigs. I hope you guys have a great day. Love you.